Alright you guys, we are out here in the mango on a nice little flat right here. Just caught a nice little snuck on a little black and chartreuse clouser right there. New pattern I'm trying for the dirty water out here. I got a little five weight flyer on. I'm seeing a bunch of little tarpon rolling around though, so I'm really hoping that I can get a, one of these little tarpon here in a bit. Probably a shark or a ray. There he is again, tarpon right there. It's another one. Oh, it's a snook. Damn it. Every time I cast these tarpon, I get a freaking snook. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Well, I keep casting at these tarpon. I keep hooking snook. Pretty cool, but I just cast at a rolling tarpon. There we go. Nice. They're rolling. A little bit bigger than the first one. Flat guys are just fishing little grass circles and potholes. Oh my gosh, tarpon right here. Just fishing some little grass circles and potholes. Yeah, it's a nicer snook. That's a little bit bigger than that first one. Look at that, down that little black and chartreuse clouser, man. Absolutely. There's literally little tarpon all over. All right, little snook going back. Dude, it's like every time I cast one of these tarpon, I get a freaking little snook. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Nice hook up. Okay, I think I got him. Tarpon on the fly. Nice. All right, you guys, we got a nice tarpon on the fly right here. Whoa, nice fish, baby. On the fly. Yeah, come on. On the five weight, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, we crushed that fly. Come on, baby. Oh, come on, baby. I hope he stays pinned. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, guys, I watched that tarpon inhale that fly. I was actually casting. I saw one roll, had a snook eat it. Through again, and then this guy came up and crushed it. Hopefully he's hooked good. I did not get a good hook set on him at all. Pretty sure he's pinned though. It's a nice tarpon too, dude. Dude, yeah, he's 20 pounds. Yeah, he's probably right on there. Look at him, he's pissed. Oh, there he goes again, guys. He's taking off. Yeah, it's a good fish. Oh my gosh, guys, on a, on a five weight, this is an insanely good fish. Look at him right here. How cool is that? Oh, I, th I, think, he I think he's hooked perfect. Good. He's fat. Got him? Yep. <laughs> Look at that fly! <laughs> right there in the top of his face. That hook worked perfect. <laughs> Oh, that's so that's cool, strong. guys. Look at that, guys. On the five weight here. Hold on. All right, you guys, we're going to get him back. Beautiful little tarpon. That hooked worked so, so well. Still got the fly. Going to let it go right there. Oh, he's beautiful. Beautiful little tarpon, guys. Probably a nice little 15, 20 pound fish. Oh, beautiful Everglades tarpon right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Forward here. Wait till this little dude is ready to go. It's just about there. It's usually what we do with these tarpon, even when they're really, even when they're small like this, guys. When you have a really good fight like that, you want to make sure that even if it's a long fight, they, they're nice and ready to go. Usually they'll kind of hold onto your thumb, they'll start to kick like that, get ready to gulp air like he just did. Usually I'll let them go after the second or third gulp of air. Yep. There he goes. Beautiful fish. Gorgeous fish right there. All right, so guys, so that was literally amazing. Like I was telling Chris coming out here today that all I wanted was a baby tarpon on the fly. And that not only was a perfect size one, but like landed him on that little chartreuse and black clouser that I tied specifically for this because I thought it would work out here. And it's been working amazing. I already got a few snuck on it and that really nice tarpon, which is awesome in like foot of water. So that's epic. We're going to keep going and uh, hopefully we'll get another nice snook or maybe even one of those tarpon. They're everywhere still rolling around here. Oh, that was a tarpon right there. Just rolled right behind us. Go! No way! Dude! Crushed it! Dang, guys, I got another freaking tarpon on. 
Oh, shoot. He's going on the boat. Oh, he's pissed. Clear that line, baby. Clear that line. Oh, get tight, get tight, get tight. Oh, we still jumping out there. Hold on. Oh, he's jumping. On, on the fly right now, that little black and chartreuse. I saw him roll, I put it right over his head. And I watched him come up and sip that fly right off the surface. It was amazing, amazing eat. Definitely not a big one. Oh, he's pissed. Not as big as that last one, but he's a nice fish. So he came up and slurped it right off the surface. Oh, he's beautiful too. Him out, guys. He's so pretty. All right, got him right there on that little black and chartreuse cloud right there, guys. Look at that fish. He's so pretty. The hook perfect, right in the corner of the mouth there. That's right where you want him to be hooked, guys. Check that out. Right there in the corner of his face, little black and chartreuse clouser is working pretty amazing in his dirty water. Yeah, that's. Whew. Much smaller than that first one. He just got me nice and wet there. He's beautiful. Look at that little fish, guys. He is gorgeous on that little black and chartreuse. That thing's a slayer. Got him? Snook? Nice. All right, Chris has got a snook on right there. Dude, you should bring that over here for a little, for a freaking double release. On some homemade flies. There he goes. See you later, buddy. Beautiful. And a snook. There he goes. <laughs>